real quick, uh, quick thought on the, the the vast majority of Big Ten coaches. Uh, last night on a 90-minute video call that uh, featured Commissioner Tony Petiti, um, according to ESPN's Pete Thamel, the call took 90 minutes, n- nearly an hour, without Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh, who hung up after the regularly scheduled Big Ten business to allow the conference's coaches to speak freely about the NCAA's investigation into Michigan and their frustration with the Big Ten's um, – not doing anything about it to this point, essentially. Collectively, the coaches want the Big Ten to act, according to the story Pete Thamel wrote right now. Uh, what are we waiting wow. on? We know what happened, Ooh. essentially. Now, is that fair to Michigan? Has there been wow. due process in this case? Uh, I don't know. The NCAA has been investigating, but more and more comes out. And, you know, Big Ten teams still have to play this team, who seems to have uh, gone to great lengths to yeah. acquire information they should not have. Yes. Uh, so, and they're going to play games. Well, I mean, I, 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 I understand, I sense their, I, I guess I can see their frustration, but at the same time, what can, what can Tony Petiti do in real time becomes the question I've argued putting the wireless communication in the headsets I, immediately. I agree. I think your idea is still the best idea going forward. doesn't look like that's something that came up in the meeting. Uh, I don't know if that was in the report or not. I, I think, you know, he's waiting on the investigation to be done to be as thorough as possible. Uh, you know, and I, I, yes, true, but if you have enough evidence at this point, even without the entire investigation being done, I think that would, you know, as, as if you're a decision maker, um, that should prompt you to want to, to do something. Now, not saying you need to punish Michigan not, uh, right now, maybe you wait till everything is done to do that. Um, but yeah, maybe getting some messaging out there, or like you said, your idea about the communication headset is something they also should consider so i don't know what's holding it up i don't know what why they're waiting for the the court of public opinion to already <laughs> you know what i mean it's, it's already tainting already, what could well, be your champion right it's pretty much they are they're already coming out and making up their mind i mean well and, and the coaches this is what this isn't you know you and i on a radio show this is the coaches in the big 10 they laid out to the petiti remember he just came on board in in july and your june i mean he just got here as the commissioner right. but they laid out to him april is when petiti came on board how distinct of a schematic advantage michigan has held over the last three years by illegally obtaining the opposition signals ahead of time as has been alleged coaches use words like tainted fraudulent and unprecedented of course in the three years that connor stallions left a paper trail of purchasing tickets to games of michigan opponents the wolverines have gone 33 and 3 22 and 1 in big 12 play prior three years they were 22 1 and 11 and 16 and 8 in Big 12 conference play. So could be coincidence or it could be factor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds sound like the Big Ten coaches believe it's been a major factor I think we all know to the rise of Michigan. If it's happened, it's definitely been a factor. And like you said, the timeline is too distinct. <laughs> to, to, the, to, the, to the day, <laughs> Right, it just seems like, yeah, whatever color stallions came on officially, but we all know now this has been a two-plus year thing, or at least allegedly it's been a two-plus year thing. So, yeah, I don't know what the Big Ten is waiting on. I'm with you. I think they waited too long. They still haven't officially said anything. Well, this is just a report. And they had Michigan's bye week to do it. something, right? Uh, Michigan didn't play last weekend. The, the, uh, verdict, the verdict is already out. I mean, they've waited too long now. In court of public opinion, the verdict is he's guilty. Yeah. So now they're just trying to trying – to, see why they cover their behinds officially when it comes to the NCAA or maybe they want to make sure there's no lawsuits involved in the way they handle it, that kind of stuff. All right, let's uh, dive there, in. We'll, there, there will be lawsuits. We'll take your thoughts on that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're going to play games this weekend in the Big Ten. Michigan's going to play Ohio State at the end of the year. Oh, man. Penn State's going to play Michigan coming up. That's a top-ten team. 